Now, how many people have just one child? Just one child. Just one. Raise your hands. One. How many have two? Two children. If you're drinking a lot, this didn't suddenly become an auction, okay? <laughs> two children, two. All right, how many have three or more children? Three or more children. Yeah, there's my people. <laughs> yeah. Because you have one or two children, you can play man-to-man -man defense. <laughs> you have three or more, you drop back in the zone and pray to God. <laughs> they outnumber you. I wanted to put them in a good school, you know? I wanted to put them in a good school because I want them to do something with their lives, you know? So I put them in this Montessori school. Have you heard of this Montessori? Okay, I didn't know, I put them in there. Then I did a little research and found out what the word Montessori actually means. Loosely translated from Italian, it means a lot of goddamn money for preschool. <laughs> Eight grand a kid. Oh yeah, worth every penny. You know why? They're already bilingual. All three kids, bilingual. That gets me a little angry, because I, I took six years of Spanish, middle school, high school, six years. And you know I get out of those six years? Four sentences. And I'd like to share them with you tonight. First one, donde esta la casa de Pepe? Where is the house of Paul? Pretty basic. Second one, el toco disco están en la casina. The record player is in the kitchen. The third, the third one, mi lapis es amarillo y largo. My pencil is long and yellow. <laughs> and the fourth one, the one I'm really proud of, mi burro está en mi pantalones. My donkey is in my pants. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. 